I've been a Christian since I was a kid, and I was raised in a very, what I would call, very kind of Bible Belt, a little legalistic kind of church background, very strict. And I get where people sometimes come from. I wasn't allowed to listen to rock music. I couldn't wear black. You know, I, I get, totally get it. And I know know what it's like to see a Christian band go on tour with another band and, and get upset. I've been there before. But I think, what, I think what Christians need to understand is that people are called to different things. And there are really fantastic Christian bands like Casting Crowns and people like that, Toby Mack, who are called to sing to Christian people. And I think that's a really wonderful thing. Skillet is a band that we feel called to sing to both worlds, mainstream people and Christian people, and to find a way to, to reach both of those audiences. Uh, but at the same time, Skillet has been very clear that God has spoken to us about bringing the light to the darkness and, and not, not waiting for the darkness to come to us to hear what we have to say about Jesus, but to go in and attack that world and bring the love of Christ to, to you know, a, a world that's hurting. And that's what we're doing. So we do tour with a lot of mainstream bands. Um, we do some tours that I don't promote on my Twitter because I know there's a lot of Christian fans that maybe they, young fans that maybe they shouldn't come or maybe they can't come, you know, maybe 13 year old kids, maybe they don't need to come see Skillet with Motley Crue. Uh, but we're, we're doing our thing. We're going to that world to bring our music and our message to them. And we're doing it, uh, unashamedly for Christ and, and unapologetically to both the world and to Christian people. If anybody out there is wondering what that's all about, all you have to do is come see Skillet play at a Christian show or a mainstream show, any Skillet show, and I have a feeling that you'll get it. By the end of the show, I think you'll say, I totally get what's going on. I see the light of Christ in what they're doing, and I've heard the name of Jesus spoken to a crowd of people that may not hear Jesus' name spoken outside of a curse word. Turn